1498. And welcome back. So we started off with a good amount of cloud cover across the region. A few peaks of sunshine has made our way into the early afternoon. And then into the evening, we saw a, a little more sunshine out there. Uh, the clouds we had earlier in the day and a little bit of a northerly wind did keep temperatures down. Uh, we did stay dry, though, through the day. High temperature of 84 at North Platte, Ogallala, Broken Bow, Lexington, and 83 at Fedford, into the upper 80s out toward Imperial, and at Valentine, closer to 90. Here's a look at the current temperatures. So we've got the uh, clear skies and the uh, light to calm winds, so we are cooling down pretty nicely. It is pretty dry out there, too. Uh, lower 60s right now at Broken Bow, North Platte, Ogallala, 71 at Valentine, upper 60s at Fedford, Lexington, and Imperial. So here's a look at the winds. So it's mainly still from a northern lead direction. Winds are very light. We're going to say between zero and five miles per hour. I don't see any uh, um, values above five on this map. Here's a look at the uh, satellite and loop. Uh, we do have uh, just mainly clear skies. Clouds from earlier off to the east, and we do have another band of some clouds along the I-80 corridor from Ogallala and points off to the west. But that is basically it for the moisture. So we are going to cool down a lot as we make our way through the overnight. But high pressure is cresting over us. That's moving off to the east. Uh, we're going to have another high right behind it. More sunshine is on the way, and mainly the flow is going to be from a southerly direction. So we are going to warm up pretty nicely across the region as we make our way through this week and stay mainly dry. So through the overnight, uh, clear skies, temperatures falling back into the mid-50s, and for the day tomorrow, we're already getting right back up there. Now, the winds will still be northerly, but it's dry, uh, it's dry conditions. That dry air does warm up pretty quickly, so we're going to have complete sunshine throughout the day, so most of us should get into the upper 80s. Now... For the overnight into your Wednesday morning, temperatures fall right back again into the mid-50s. And for the day on Wednesday, lots of sunshine again. Red arrows, stronger southerly flow, so highs should be into the lower 90s for most of us. So here's what it looks like. The overwhelming feature on this map will be the high pressure giving us the sunshine and the red arrows. That's a very strong southerly wind, so that will warm us up too. So we're basically going to get right back to where we were last week. Not as hot as last week, but temperatures well into the, the 90s as we progress through the week. Let's take a look at the tropics right now. We saw that story earlier today about what is happening in Florida. So here's where we are right now to uh, uh, tra tracking what is tropical storm uh, Dahlia, which is uh, the latest uh, advisory still at 70 miles per hour just off the west coast of Cuba. But it looks to strengthen as it continues to move off to the north and then eventually the east. Hurricane warning in the red here, basically going from the Orlando area uh, all the way up to Tallahassee that is surrounded in the orange by tropical storm warnings. Let's put this into motion now. We are going to go out uh, about, yeah, say, 120 hours. So it will strengthen to a Category 2, then a Category 3 hurricane, possibly making landfall here at around 120 miles per hour just after, say, 8 a.m., late morning on Wednesday, going across Georgia, South Carolina, and then back into the Atlantic Ocean. And when it does go back into the Atlantic Ocean, it still looks to be a tropical storm as we finish out this work week. Also, one other hurricane. This is a major hurricane. It is Category 4, but very good news about Hurricane Franklin here at 150 miles per hour. Really not near any landmass. It's even missing Bermuda, so it's going to become extra tropical and uh, be off the coast of Nova Scotia by later on to the weekend. So we'll keep our eyes on both those tropical systems. For us, not much to see except sunshine and a warm-up 89 for your Tuesday, 92 Wednesday, 95 Thursday, and 97 Friday. Breezy southerly winds really warming us up near 100. Saturday and Sunday, still mostly sunny. And for Labor Day, Monday, still mostly sunny, a high of 97. Ken? Sounds like for Labor Day weekend, the best place to be is maybe finding a lake or somewhere like that. Yeah, anywhere you can cool down. We're going to yeah. continue this late summer weather pattern. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. Well, if you're looking to save money while online shopping, leave an item you want to buy in your online cart and just walk away. And this Watching Your Wallet consumer investigator Rachel DePompa explains 